morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to St. Francis of Assisi, American National Catholic Church. For those of you watching at home, this is our 11 o'clock Mass from Glen Ridge, New Jersey. We invite you to join us in our song of gathering this morning, song number 457, Come Now is the Time to Worship, number 457. Would you please stand as you read? Come, now is the time to worship. Come, now is the time to give your heart. Come, just as you are to worship. Come, just as you are before your God. One day every tongue will confess you are God. One day every knee will bow. Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. Come, now is the time to worship. Come, now is the time to give your heart come just as you are to worship come just as you are before your God come one day every tongue will confess you are God one day every knee will bow Till the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. Come, now is the time to worship. Come, now is the time to give your heart. Come, just as you are to worship. Just as you are before your God, come, 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 just as you are, come. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. So welcome to our celebration for a Mass on the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And as our uh, entrance hymn uh, encourages us to come, come just as we are before our God. Uh, in the scriptures today, we're going to hear that invitation over and over again. As we do always, we take a moment to call to mind our failings and our shortcomings. Aware that this God who loves us brings us healing and forgiveness. And together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. And I ask, Blessed Mary, and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God the Father, mercy through the death and resurrection of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who sent the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of sins. Through the ministry of the Church, may God grant you pardon and peace, and I absolve you of your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Together with the angels and the archangels, let's raise our voices in that wonderful hymn of praise, the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you. Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the 
sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. For you eternal wisdom, you alone impart the gift of right judgment. Grant us an understanding heart that we may, that we may value wisely the treasures of your kingdom and gladly forge all lesser gifts to possess the kingdom uh, as, as the kingdom's incorruptible joy. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is from the Book of Wisdom. There is no God besides you, Lord whose care is for all people, to whom you should prove that you have not judged unjustly. For your strength is the source of righteousness, and your sovereignty over all causes you to spare all. For you show your strength when people doubt the completedness of your power, and you rebuke any insolence among those who, show, who know it. Although you are sovereign in strength, you judge with mildness, and with great forbearance you, for, you govern us, for you have power to act whenever you choose. Through such works you have taught your people that the righteous must be kind, and that the righteous must, I'm sorry, the righteous must be kind, and you have filled your children with good hope because you give repentance for sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat> Lord, you are good and forgiving. Lord, you are Abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my pleading. Lord, you are good and forgiving. All the nations you have shall come and worship you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous deeds. You alone are God. Lord, you are good and forgiving. You, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in kindness and fidelity. Turn toward me and have pity on me. Give your strength to your servant. Lord, you are good and forgive.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But that very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. And God, who searches the heart, knows what is the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Please stand. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus put before the crowds a parable. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to someone who sowed good seed in his field. But while everybody was asleep, an enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and then went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weeds appeared as well. And the slaves of this householder came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where then did these weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. The slave said to him, then do, then do you want us to go and gather them? But he replied, No, for in gathering the weeds, you would uproot the wheat along with them. Let both of them grow together until the harvest, and at harvest time I will tell the reapers, collect the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned, but gather the wheat into my barn. Jesus put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all the seeds but when it has grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour until all of it was leavened. Jesus told the crowds all these things in parables. Without a parable, he told them nothing. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet. I will open my mouth to speak in parables. I will proclaim what has been hidden from the foundation of the world. Then Jesus left the crowds and went into the house. And his disciples approached him saying, explain to us the parable of the weeds of the field. He answered, The one who sows the good seed is the son of man, the field is the world, and the good seed are the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one, and the enemy who sow them is the devil. The harvest is at the end of the age, and the reapers are angels. Just as the weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so it will be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all evildoers, 
and they will throw them into the furnace of fire, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Let anyone with ears listen. Brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The words of the Holy Gospel, may our sins be blotted away. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, you sat down already. That was fast. <laughs> anyway, um, I, uh, I think that for us today, these readings on this particular Sunday uh, in the uh, kind of the middle of summer might give us some encouragement and some hope uh, to continue our spiritual journey. Uh, the first reading from Wisdom, uh, I was thinking just, uh, um, I think that in my house anyway, the weeds have won, just so you know. And I'm so curious as to how the rabbits and the deer know which is not the weeds, right? So I'd like them to, uh, but in some ways, um, these, uh, these messages that we have for today uh, might speak to us about God's uh, love for us, which is uh, stronger than death and deeper than the ocean. And we hear that in wisdom. We hear that uh, the underpinning of that in wisdom. Jesus, in these parabolic teachings, are communicating to his, uh, his uh, community and to the apostles and to you and I something of the nature of the kingdom of God. In Matthew, uh, he refers to it as the kingdom of God. In Luke and Mark, it is the kingdom of heaven, uh, mostly because Matthew is speaking to a largely Jewish audience that is moving towards its understanding of Jesus as the Messiah. So he talks about it as the kingdom of God, the reign of God. But in wisdom, we hear this wonderful sense of what are the characteristics of those who populate the kingdom. And I couldn't help but to think uh, in Micah, we know what we are asked to do, which is to love generously, uh, to do justice, and to walk humbly with our God. And wisdom underscores that. Wisdom says that for us, justice has to be tempered with mercy. That for us, when we forgive, we should do that wholeheartedly and not think about uh, what the results of that might be. Wisdom teaches us, the Book of Wisdom is for us something that helps us in very common sense ways, but also with some theological understanding about how we should live with each other. It keeps us in peace with each other that flows from God. The second reading, uh, I love this, uh, it, is, uh, it is what St. Paul often says, that it is the Spirit of God uh, within me that cries out, Abba, Father. It is the Holy Spirit that so inspires us in every good work and in every prayer. And so we hear how St. Paul reinforces that for us that you and I share that same spirit that cries out, Abba, Father, right? That uh, inspires in us every good work. And so this reading from, uh, from uh, St. Paul uh, might indeed encourage us uh, to continue in our prayer. Uh, I was thinking that uh, at this time of the year, I'm fairly, uh, I'm fairly exhausted. I said to Mary on the way in, I think I'm so sick of hearing myself <laughs> that next week I'm going on vacation and maybe you, like me, there's times when you just kind of figure, I'm done, I'm throwing in the towel. But this reading uh, from when I was praying with this from St. Paul uh, gave me some encouragement to continue on and to persevere. Uh, it also helps remind me that, uh, that God's in charge and not me. So that's a little bit of relief in my own thinking about my actions and those kinds of things. The gospel, uh, I think, is... Um, is uh, is for us uh, something that uh, I don't have much to say about because Jesus gives us the commentary. Right from the mouth of our Savior, we hear what the substance of this gospel is. And so for us, as Jesus begins to uh, tell us about the kingdom of God, he tells us in really important ways that the kingdom of God is not something that you and I can fully understand in this life, and so that we should refrain from judgment. I think the first, uh, the first parable, parable in Greek, paraboles, means to throw aside. It is something like a parable is a way 
to tell a, a, a deeper meaning of something that everybody would have been familiar with. They would have known about wheat, and the, the, the plant is a darnel, and, 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 and the, the weed is a darnel, and in, in its maturity, it looks very much like a, a stalk of wheat. So when the, when the people uh, of the sower, the, the, the owner of the field, uh, they, the uh, workers go to him and say, should we pull this up? He says, no, no, leave it, leave it there, right? It is, it is an, it's an important message for you and I to not judge other people, to refrain from that sense of us thinking uh, who's going to make it and who isn't. When Oscar Wilde saw the Catholic Church, he said, here comes everybody. And that's true, right? And so what I think is uh, the twofold message of this is refrain from judging because we really don't know. And then the other piece of that for you and I is the times when we were weeds, thank God nobody pulled us out, right? Thank God nobody dismissed us. That perhaps our uh, relationship with Christ needed time to grow and mature and to realize uh, that we were, we were also in our own life uh, the weeds that got in the way of other people. This particular uh, gospel, I think, speaks to us and might invite us to think about what are the weeds in our life? What gets in the way of our relationship with God and with each other? The, uh, the, 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 the parable of the, of, the, um, of the mustard seed we're going to hear next Sunday. Matthew's uh, gospel is a series of five discourses, and this is the second. The first is the Sermon on the Mount, and then we hear this one. And it has a lot to do with Jesus using metaphor and parables to teach important messages about the kingdom and about how we should behave in the kingdom. And so he says, if the weeds grow up with the, with the, with the wheat, who cares, right? Who cares? At the end, there will be, there'll come a judgment. But as long as we're letting that happen, our faith can be like a mustard seed, which is the smallest, but grows into the largest of plants. And so the church grows that way, right? The church grows. And so that the birds of the air can come and make their nest in that. And so it is not for us uh, to judge. I often mistake uh, uh, my sense of wanting justice with judgment, and so I have to be very careful. This gospel cautions us about that. And then the leaven in the bread, right? We hear how this woman uses a little yeast and it becomes leaven in the bread. That, I think, is you and I. We, you and I, are leaven in the bread of the church Catholic. Our behavior relative to the rest of the world can make the whole church rise, right? in some ways, by how we behave, how you and I behave in the characteristics that Jesus tells us the kingdom is comprised of children of righteousness and their light will shine to the whole world. And I think we know what that behavior is. We hear it in wisdom, that we should be patient, that we should be justice, that we should treat each other with mercy and compassion, that we should have an attitude of leniency and forgiveness, that we should make room for everybody that we should allow our understanding of the person not to be defined by one simple dimension of who they are, but allow them to grow fully into the person that God has called them into being and refrain from judging that for ourselves. It's not an easy task. I joke with you all the time that in my night prayer I pray for uh, mercy for myself and justice for everybody else, right? And, but, this is, but the reality is that why don't I pray for mercy for everyone, right? This is an invitation to think about where are the weeds in our life? Where are the weeds that are choking off the life of the Spirit for me? Is it my anger? Is it my, is it my biases? Is it my inability to see my enemies and more than simply uh, the divisions that divide us rather than the unity that can bind us? This invitation today in the Gospel is for us to refrain from all of those things and to live as children of the Kingdom, to live as sons and daughters of righteousness to see in our ability uh, to lay down our sense of correctness and rightness the possibility of the other uh, might have something to offer us. We can't do that if we're so defended, if we're so judging the other person. And so today as we gather as God's people, we can listen to the explanation of this particular parables from the mouth of our Savior. And we can be, uh, we can be leaven in the bread, we can be the mustard seed, and indeed in so many ways, uh, we can be the person who allows the weeds to grow in another person's life until they reach a, a, a point of a spiritual maturity for themselves. So let's continue that in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Let us profess our faith as we say, we believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through God all things were made for us and for our salvation. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. <coughs> the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting God our Father, we now present our prayers and petitions. The response today is Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Our readings speak of the judgment of God, which is strong but filled with kindness and compassion. Let us remember to allow the Holy Spirit be the judge of others, and also let us rejoice in his mercy and compassion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In today's gospel, Jesus uses parables, stories to teach us. Remind us, Lord, that we should look to the stories in our lives to see the message of God. Let anyone with an ear listen. Help us, Lord, to hear your message in our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, bless the ANCC, St. Francis of Assisi Parish, its members, and all who seek you. We especially pray for our ANCC fellow church, St. Joseph, of Arimathea Parish in Orange, Connecticut. Inspire our congregations to make the world a more loving and caring place where all are welcome and valued. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Lord, we pray for an end to violence. We pray for those who live where violence is a part of daily life. We pray for those who are experiencing war and for those brave people who have stepped up to assist them. We also pray for those who commit violent acts, that they see the hurt and destruction that they cause, and they will then turn away from these hate-filled ways. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we ask you to bless those who are marginalized, the homeless, the poor, the immigrant, the asylum seeker, the lonely. Let us all act in your name to appreciate and welcome those who need our love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we ask you to bless the sick, those who suffer from physical ailments, mental health issues, and depression. Comfort them and give strength to those who care for them. Are there any for whom we should pray? Sophia. Suzanne. Betty. Michael. Betty. Matt and Tony. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, as we remember those who have left this world and that have been reunited with you in heaven, we pray for those who have died and those who mourn them. Are there any people in particular whom we should remember? We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who are suffering in uh, this intolerable heat in the world, that we may pay better attention uh, to our uh, to our environment and to our Mother Earth. <coughs> this let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray always for those who have no one to pray for them. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Most high, glorious God, we bring you our prayers and petitions, those which you've spoken aloud and those in the depths of our heart. We ask you to hear and answer them if they be for our good, if we make them in the name of Christ, your Son. Amen. Amen. 
please turn to song 502, Seed Scattered and So, number 502. Seed scattered and sown, we gathered and grow, bread broken and shared as one, the living bread of God, fine fruit of the land, wine work of our hands. One cup that is shared by all, the living cup, the living bread of God. Is not the bread we break, the sharing in our Lord? Is not the cup bless the blood of Christ outpoured, seed scattered and sown, we gathered and grown, bread broken and shed as one, the living bread of God. Of the land, wine work of our hand, one cup that is shared by all, the living cup, the living bread of God. If seed which falls on rock will wither and will die. The seed within good ground will flower and have life. Seed scattered and sown, we gathered and grown. Red, broken and shed one, the living bread of God, wine fruit of the land, wine work of our hands, one cup that is shared by all, the living cup, the living bread. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of God's name and for our good and the God's church. Lord, accept these offerings which we have drawn from your bountiful goodness, that by the working of your grace these sacred mysteries may sanctify our lives on earth and lead us to the joys of life eternal. We make our prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is truly right and just. It is fitting that we offer you praise, Father of mercy, faithful God. You sent Jesus Christ, your Son, among us as Redeemer and Lord. He was moved with compassion for the poor and the powerless, for the sick and the sinner. He made himself neighbor to the oppressed. By his words and actions, he proclaimed to the world that you care for us as a parent cares for their children. And so with all the angels and saints, we sing the joyful hymn of your praise. Holy, 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 Lord God. In the name of the Lord, O oh, 
Are truly blessed, O God of holiness, you accompany us with love as we journey through life. Blessed too is your Son, Jesus Christ, who is present among us and whose love gathers us together. As once he did for his disciples, Christ now opens the scriptures for us and breaks the bread. Great and merciful Father, we ask you to send down your Holy Spirit to hallow these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the eve of his passion and death, while at table with those he loved, he took bread, he gave you thanks, he broke the bread, gave it to all of those whom he loved and said, take, take this, all of you, and eat it. This, this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, and handing the cup to all of those whom he loved, he said, Take, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father most holy, we celebrate the memory of Christ, your Son, whom you led through suffering and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection and a place at your right hand. Until Jesus, our Savior, comes again, we proclaim the work of your love and we offer you the bread of life and the cup of eternal blessing. <coughs> Look with favor on the offering of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ entrusted to us. Through the power of your spirit of love, include us now and forever among the members of your Son whose body and blood we share. Lord, perfect your church in faith and love together with the patriarchs of Alexandria Antioch, Constantinople, Jerusalem, and Rome, George, our bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and all those your son has gained for you. Open our eyes to the needs of all. Inspire us with words and deeds to comfort those who labor in our burden. Keep our service of others faithful to the example and command of Christ. Let your church be a living witness to truth and freedom, to justice and peace, that all people may be lifted up by the hope of a world made new. Be mindful of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ. With these and all the dead whose faith only you can know, lead them to the fullness of the resurrection and gladden them with the light of your face. When our pilgrimage on earth is complete, welcome us into your heavenly home, where we shall dwell with you forever there with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles and the martyrs and all the saints. We shall praise you and give you glory through Jesus Christ, your Son. <clears throat> through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Jesus, our Lord and brother, has taught us to call God our Father, and so we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you. And also with you. Let's offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace, everybody. Peace, everybody. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. My sisters and brothers, this is Jesus, our Lamb of God. This is Jesus who invites each and every one of us into the experience of God's love and how happy are we to be called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Please join in the prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 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 A reminder that in the American National Catholic Church, all are invited to come up for communion. Please turn to song number 512, Bread Blessed and Broken, number 512. Jesus, you're the one I love, you're the one I know, you're the one who makes me strong, spirit in my soul. From the clouds of yesterday, through the night of pain, teach me, Lord, to know your way, know it once again. Red, blessed, and broken for us all. Symbol of your love From the grain so tall Bread blessed And broken for us all Bread of life you give to us Bread of life for all May the bread we break today, may the cup we share, lift the burdens of our heart, lift them everywhere. 
passing on to each of us a measure of your love, love to make us whole again as we share your word. Bread blessed and broken for us all, symbol of your love, from the grain so tall, bread blessed and broken for us all, bread of life you give to us, bread of life for all. Jesus, you're the one I love, you're the one I know, you're the one who makes me strong, spirit in my soul, red, blessed, and broken for us all. Symbol of your love from the grain so tall, bread blessed and broken for us all. Bread of life you give to us, bread of life. Let us pray. We have shared, Lord, in the sacrament, which is the lasting memorial of your son's passion. Grant us, we pray, that this gift of his surpassing love may always bring us closer to our salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join me in thanking Peter Maureen for leading us in our, uh, in our music, right? So, uh, uh, I, uh, I, I, I not, I'm not saying this to uh, make anyone jealous, but I'm on vacation next week, so, so I asked Father Gidi not to sell the furniture, so keep an eye on him and Mary, if you would, right? I pray for me, as I will for you as well. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Bow down for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. Amen. May the face of the Lord shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. May the Lord look kindly on you and give you peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go forth from here in great peace and joy to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please turn to uh, song number 535 with one voice. Number 535. Take the word and go out to every land. Shine the light of Christ for all to see. May the lives of those we touch sing praise to God above. 
And I sing, we'll sing With one voice we'll pass the word along With one voice bring justice to the world And with all the angels we'll spread the goodness of God With all power and glory the word of God shall reign. Take the word to our neighborhoods and streets. Shine the light of Christ for all to see. May we all set out to live in peace and harmony. We will see and sing with one voice we'll pass the word along with one voice bring justice to the world and with all the angels will spread the goodness of God with all power and glory with all power and glory with all Power and glory, the word of God shall reign. Have a good week, everybody.